So we are here today to install a disconnect. Uh, as you can see, there was once a disconnect there, but it had been, you know, it failed and had been bypassed. So currently it's going directly from the junction box to the condenser. So we are going to install a new one with a new whip from there to the condenser. Uh, step one will be to turn off power and then um, locking and tagging that power out because we don't want anyone to turn the breaker on while we're working on it. So we'll start with that first and uh, go from there. So now we're just marking out our disconnect location here. We have the level on top and uh, we're just gonna get a marker and mark the holes so we know where to drill for our tap cons and um, go to the next step. Okay, so we got our new disconnect screwed on, got the wires run up to it. Um, these little fittings on there, you can usually get on and off with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver. Or in my case, you got this little handy tool, which does it pretty well. But um, yeah, now we're gonna get to uh, basically wiring it up here. Uh, we have our line on our load. Our line's gonna be the high voltage coming into the disconnect. Our load is going to be the lines going to our condenser. This is our equipment, this is our load. So our load's gonna go here, line's gonna go there. And then um, what's interesting about this is the actual panel tells you, depending on the wire size, how much torque you should be putting on those lugs. So if you have a, a little torque screwdriver, that's, a, that's nice to have. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, wire this up. All right, so we got the disconnect, everything else all wired up here. Last thing we're gonna be doing is sealing the top and sides with some clear silicone. That'll prevent water from getting into the back of the disconnect, but will also allow water to drain out the bottom in case any does get inside there. So we're not gonna seal the bottom. And then uh, that should be it. And that's it. That is the disconnect replacement. Uh, last part of any repair is to make sure we are running, we are draining, and we are good to go. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.